Dallas Cowboys selected Deron Bland in the fifth round of the 2022 NFL Draft, and the guy may be one of the steals of the draft. He had five interceptions as a rookie, well over 50 tackles, and the guy was very, very impressive on tape. Today, we're going to really analyze this guy. I'm really excited to really get into it. Let's get into this first rep here. Bland's going to do a really nice job reading this play. This is a line concept, which is basically a double slant at the top. And then down below, you got a stick concept. The quarterback's going to get his eyes over to the left side right away. And you're going to see Bland, as he gets out, really read the hips of this wide receiver. So as the quarterback takes a snap here, the receiver gets out and you can see the receiver run a quick slant to the inside. And Bland does a really nice job going from outside leverage quickly shifts his hips back to the inside and from there he's able to jump the route and attack through the wide receiver and intercept the pass to me this is a really really nice shot and what's crazy is for a rookie to have five interceptions in his rookie season we don't see that that often anymore right we don't see rookies have this type of success and i want to get into this next interception here because this one comes out of a man match defense and what that means is the defense is actually in a cover three and you'll see that here and bland who's lined up in the slot is actually the other third deep defender and you'll see these guys kind of drop out but these guys are all in zone coverage underneath now the quarterback thinks this is man based off of alignment based off of how bland out of the slot drops into that deep third and you can see this is a nice shot picking it off. Now, obviously, in this play, the quarterback thought that Bland would run with the slot receiver. And generally speaking, that would make sense here as the receiver runs across for Bland to kind of match that. Now, obviously, the reason why he doesn't is because he's the deep third defender. And the quarterback just doesn't recognize this pre-snap. And the quarterback's going to throw the ball and Bland's right there. Great job recognizing the play and being able to pick the ball off as it's kind of coming to you. This is a really nice call by the defensive coordinator and really making sure these guys are coached up on the defensive side, making sure they understand kind of what's going on, uh, how to make sure they're not showing anything pre-snap, which would indicate to the quarterback that this is not man, but instead zone coverage, right? Cover three, but you're showing man pre-snap. To me, that's a really nice call. And of course, Bland picks it off. Really nice rep right there. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this next rep. You guys, check this play out here. You got Deron Bland, who's going to be in a cover three. He's going to have the vertical hooks. And then the Colts have a man in motion who's basically running a sail concept. And you're going to see Bland basically stay underneath it. And do a really nice job recognizing this play. Getting his hands on the wide receiver, slowing him down just enough where he's able to stay underneath it. At the same time, when he does get his hands on the wide receiver, as you're going to see here... It's not enough where you're going to call this a penalty. You get about five yards to hit a cornerback and get your hands on him. And you see Bland basically do that on this rep here. And then with that, he just kind of stays on the hip of the receiver, turns his head, which is the big part of why he had five interceptions as a rookie. He does a really nice job playing the ball when it's in the air. And like you see here, he gets the interception. It's a really, really nice job. Now, he did have two interceptions against the Colts. And we'll look at that second interception in just a second. Again, you see he intercepting it, really just undercutting the pass. Really nice job. Now, this next interception here, he's going to be in the slot. To me, this is just a play of having ability to be a solid-ass football player. And you see it, man. You see him just read, react, jump it, not hesitate. The, you know, in my opinion, when you get a cornerback that plays freely, freely, that plays loosely, you get plays like this. You know, you get plays where he's not scared to take those risks. He's not scared to jump a route. And this is what leads to him having interceptions. You know, this isn't a bad throw necessarily. This is just a really, really nice job by the cornerback. It's a really nice job being able to fight through and intercepting the pass. Being able to jump, really get out there. You know, the quarterback's fairly kept clean on this play. But the cornerback, again, just makes a really, really nice play. Again, to me, the way Deron Bland plays, the way he processes... As a cornerback, I think the Dallas Cowboys got an absolute steal in Bland. Now, the fifth and final interception, and this interception came back in week four. This was the first game Bland actually played in. When I saw Bland make this play, you almost just feel like this guy has this unique skill set. And what I mean by that is he almost baits the quarterback into this throw, right? He almost lets the wide receiver make the curl here, and he almost doesn't stay exactly underneath it you can see that if you just back this up here uh, he kind of lets the receiver run a little bit away from him 
but not so much that he's not able to jump it if needed. And you see that he's able to jump it. Again, the boss skills by Bland are there. But what's crazy is it's not just the boss skills. Even against the run, the guy's a pretty solid football player. And I do want to show you guys a couple of his run reps. Because as a slot cornerback, you have to make plays around the line of scrimmage. Rather, it's quick screens like what you're about to see here. Or against the run, which you'll see in a little bit later on. You got to be able to quickly read and recognize. And one of the traits that Bland has as a rookie is he's very intelligent. And it really flashes. Right, he's one of those guys that really does a nice job and you can see on this play here He quickly recognizes the screen based off the two receivers who are both basically going outwards to block And he just does a really nice job kind of pursuing it backside Of course as you guys see he's gonna be able to get in there and make the play I mean, that's just a really really nice rep right there. Alright, you guys check this rep out You got a man go into motion and Bland's gonna end up in the box and he has a gap He has to defend you can do a pretty nice job getting his nose in there and trying to at least contain this play now you guys see that that pile up gets created kind of avoids that there uh, he's not the first one that gets in there but he does do a pretty nice job getting his nose in there and make sure that the ball carrier is down here's another really nice rep once again guy goes into motion he steps into the box to play the run and he gets his nose in there and he helps make the play on this one uh, to me Bland is a pretty solid run defender and I, I think that goes a long way when it comes to cornerbacks you got to really be willing to make tackles. You got to be willing to get dirty inside the box between the tackles. Get your pads low like he does here. Squares up against one of the league's best running backs. And he helps make the play. That's a really, really nice job right there. Another really nice rep. This one's going to be an outside zone to the right of your screen. You see Bland right there do a nice job take on number eight. Keep outside containment and only allow about three yards on this play. To me, that's a positive play for the defense. Uh, once again, you're going to see him take on number eight. Really nice job with the hand placement. Make sure number eight cannot seal you off. Take the outside there. Nice job being able to shed. Of course, just kind of push the running back out, box it in. Really nice job just containing his run fit. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Now, obviously, we went over some of the interceptions, but there were so many other plays that Bland made over the course of the season. And I think they're plays that probably weren't recognized a whole lot, right? Uh, plays where you design to go at a rookie plays like this where you're going to play action and you're going to have number 18 here a block but then he's going to release obviously this is a long developing play and look at bland how far away he is from 18 but just that recognition and of course fields throws the ball up and blind gets there and knocks it incomplete i mean that's a touchdown saving play right there this is a trick play that the chicago bears are designing to go directly at a rookie to potentially get a guy slipping in a coverage that, again, as we talked about earlier, even if it's zone, there's a lot of man elements to it, uh, which means that plays that are long developing oftentimes will have guys get open, right? In this case, they were kind of uh, coming at uh, Bland and he's just in perfect position to be able to knock the pass out. And this isn't the only time he did this. You got Bland here, lined up as an outside cornerback at the top of your screen. Again, a really, really nice job on this play. Uh, you got two guys running drag routes, the quarterback throws it deep, and you got Bland in coverage. Uh, this one he almost intercepts. Obviously he doesn't, but still, a really nice shot be able to break the pass up. Now, the thing with these type of plays is when you're a cornerback making these plays, you're at least giving yourself the opportunity to intercept the pass. Like, I'm not surprised this guy had five interceptions. I'm not surprised if he'll end up with even more in this upcoming season because he's just around the football he just happens to know where the ball's about to be and he's always in perfect coverage as you guys see on a bunch of these plays and truth be told i think deron bland is one of those guys that's gonna be very very good for a really long time and we're gonna possibly start saying this guy may be one of the elite slot cornerbacks you know being in the slot when guys like christian kirk are running these whip routes and you're responsible for it and you're able to break these passes up the way he does here. I mean, to me, that's that's truly special. These type of plays on tape is truly special. And to me, the Dallas Cowboys got an absolute steal. And I'm fired up, man, to really break this guy down as the season kind of progresses here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, a lot of you guys know me as the football scout. But I do plan to do Dallas Cowboys content on this channel. So if this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. This is all stuff related to the Cowboys. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.